Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'll tell you all my sisters. And I'll tell you my brothers. Lead singer from Orgy is my brother. The, uh, Marilyn Manson is my brother. Um, he's not my father, he's my brother. Um, Truth got exposed about that. Motionless and White lead singer Chris is my brother. My brother passed away, uh, Chester from Lincoln Park. I have one other brother, and that's Papa Roach. My sisters are as follows. Iggy Azalea, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Jennifer Banco, Carolyn Fox, um, Alyssa Milano, Shannon Doherty, Rose McGowan, Tucker, Julia, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, it's like 11 of them, and then there's Charlie XCX, Iconopop, Tattoo, both of them, T-A-T-U, both of them. That's like 15. There's four more. And I'm trying to think of them. Um. Because there were... 24, there were 25 of us on stage at the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Riverside, California. <clears throat> um, Delilah Bond, lead singer from Delilah Bond, she's a sister. Maria Brink's a sister, um, so that's 17. Sisters, if I get this right, lock in the witness relocation. Um... Alanis set. There's one more. There's one more sister. Meredith Brooks. Those are my sisters. And... All of them have a crack at me. Like, not like with a, with a SWAT or whatnot, no. Bless, you want to do a video? You're my cousin. We'll do a video. Mortal Kombat. Sisters of Kombat. We unlock the brothers. And in Sisters of Combat, it's a fighting game. Bless you, car wheel kicking me. I block it. I block it. I'm not gonna hurt you. I block it. If you really want to hurt me, bless. If it means that much to hurt me, then. I guess whatever. I guess whatever. They're doing conspiracies where I live. They're doing collusion where I live.
fuck if I get sued. I don't give a fuck if I, you know, they're talking about, they're talking about suing me and stuff. So kiss ass to Misha. Law enforcement Misha called called in a false crime. She did it just because she doesn't like me. There's no crime there and she made she made it into a crime when there was nothing there. I accidentally bumped into Amy walking down the hall. I was walking fast to try to get to my room because I was talking to an MS-13 member about how we're going to deal with Misha. Or Misha. That MS-13 member said that he was gonna rape her and stuff. And I said, no, she gets her, she gets her choice, China White Heroin or Beat Down. So as, as I was talking to Shot Caller of MS-13, <clears throat> he was like, I'm a raper. I'm like, no, you're not, that breaks code. You're gonna load her up on China White Heroin. So they called it into dispatch or whatever. They did a report or what, whatever. I don't break the law. I obey, I obey the law. I'd like for the judge third arrest in <clears throat> to step into play. He said if he had to see me before him one, one more time, he was going to put me in identification relocation program, put law enfor enforcement in federal prison. I want to talk to that judge third arrest in. Then no law enforcement busted out my teeth with their nightstick or baseball bat when I was in handcuffs. Tried raping me and shit. Proof to my claim? Pennywise, fuck the authority video. And where's the love, black eyed peas? Homeless black eye, you get cracked in the head with nightsticks by six. Um, and he was minding his own business. Wasn't bothering nobody. They come up on him cracking nightsticks at him. Felt sorry for that black guy. made me cry.
and you're trying to regulate whether or not I can have a boyfriend or not here at this group home. They're trying to say that I can't have a boyfriend and this and that. Tucker, will you move me in with you, please? You're my sister. Or will one of my sisters move me in with them, please? So that way I'm out from underneath all the stress. Not smoking so many damn cigarettes. Play Magic the Gathering with me. Play video games with me. Spend some time with me. Blast. Bless you, my cousin. Spend some time with me. Ashley from Virginia, Meadow Archer. You're my cousin. Spend some time with me. Take me out to the range with the bow and arrows. Let me walk through the 3D targets. Shoot my bow at, tar shoot my bow at targets. I want to see if I can still hit, get the big bear. There's a big 12 foot tall bear. It's foam bear. The last target. 45 degree angle going downward. And you got to draw back. Do like that. Lean in a little bit to hit it in the, in the leg, in the kneecap. I want to see if I can hit it in the heart. Glenn Hyatt, will you please, will you please release me from my punishment? You're my sensei, Glenn Hyatt. don't know that you're dealing with disabled. All I want to do is earn your respect. Prove that Kempo is the hardest martial art out there. And you, you don't accept it. Why? I want you to teach me martial arts again, Glenn. Give me something positive in my life, something to look forward to. I enjoy going to going to the church once a week, the church dojo, studying martial arts. I miss it. Glenn, you do that, I might give up the smoking. But martial arts first. I always have to give up something and then I get something. No, not this time. I should be able to get something good. Not bad, good. Law enforcement, law enforcement, if you gave me back my social security money, and you gave me back my privileges. You're not my parents, law enforcement. Why are you trying to be my mom? Why are you trying to be my dad? You're law enforcement. Difference. If you actually gave me privileges, you would see a totally different me. You would see more of this me. So give me back, give me back my social security money. Allow me to get into a dojo, study martial arts. Don't make the prices too incredibly expensive. They're only for $50 a month for martial arts lessons. Make it defensive, not offensive. Glenn, all you want to teach is offense. I don't want to learn how to kill someone, Glenn. 
Then I, I do not want to learn how to kill someone. You're scaring me. Teaching that ninjutsu shit. Me and Carol were forced to spar against each other. Carol was told to knock the wind out of me. Carol refused to do it, because she knew it would kill me. They've been gun Law enforcement's been gunning me since day one. Since the day I came out of my mom's womb, law enforcement's been targeting me. So of course I'm screwed up in the head a little bit. Just look at everything that I've been through. Iggy Azalea Mercedes, will you come to Tacoma please? And will, I know that you are blood. That everything that I said is slide, Mercedes. And come to Tacoma and actually spend some time with me. Bring out some magic cards and play Magic the Gathering with me. It's, it's gonna kill any of you to spend an hour and a half, two hours, per person playing Magic the Gathering. Is that really gonna kill you? really an inconvenience to spend time with your sibling? But no, none of you guys will. All you guys just want to see me bored stiff all the time. No money. You guys won't hire me to mow, to even mow your lawn for 20 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever. Be more than happy to mow your lawn for 20, 40 bucks. And I would do a good job. I might even weed eat it for, for an extra 10. Pull all your weeds for an extra ten. Spend three hours on the lawn to make thirty bucks. I'm a hard worker if you'll trust me. I'm not gonna steal from you. I'm not going to steal from you, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to cheat you out of something. If I make a mistake, accidentally hit a bush, I'll come right to your door and knock on the door. Hey, I'm sorry for disturbing you, I accidentally hit your bush with my, with the lawnmower. I'll pay for it. But none of you actually give me that chance to make any money. Right now, I've had zero dollars, zero cents for 21 months. And it's fucked up. I would kill to have a job. Be on YouTube a lot less. Not... A lot of people don't understand it. Three, can you get me a razor too, please? They won't even give me a razor. I have to fight for everything that I get. 
the struggle for survival. Nobody is spending any time with me. That's my problem. Nobody spends any time with me. I'll try your Yu-Gi-Oh game. I don't like Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'll try it. Build me something... Build me something like Scroll Prison for Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll try Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't really like it. And I definitely don't like Pokemon, but build me something that that can trip, draws a bunch of cards, and, and where I can play my hand in one single turn and win the game. Build me something like that. In Pokemon, everything is free. That's why I don't like it. It's too... They built it for me because I'm developmentally disabled, but I don't like it. I like Magic the Gathering. Teach me how to play Jihad the Eternal Struggle. It's a vampire game. Of course I like it. The card game, Jihad the Eternal Struggle. Teach me how to play these games. Give me, give me a box of commons and uncommons and tell me to build a deck. you see the disabilities. And you take a, a deck, a box, full of commons and uncommons, you build a deck. Same exact cards in both boxes. You'll see the disabilities. You want to test social security to see if I'm disabled or not? Play me in a game of Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or play me in a game of Jihad the Eternal Struggle with commons and uncommons only. You'll see the disabilities. I'm five color control with absolutely no dual lands and only basic fetch lands that make the land come into play tap. Pat Kerr's caught on to it. She labeled me as developmentally disabled. <sighs> One of my life, Jose Valderez. He doesn't know that I love him. Jose is like, you're younger than me or you're older than me, something like that. He's got a rosary cross tattooed right here on his, on his left hand. And when he found out who I was and that I was a Monroe child, he decided to take my case on firsthand. He was my personal bodyguard. He made sure nothing happened to me. Law enforcement, why are you busting him for for having a firearm? He was trying to protect me from you pulling a firearm and shooting me in the forehead. The assailant in that case is still on the loose. Just sit down with me, play a, play a few games. Jihad and Kang, Kang Gi, you gotta, you gotta bid on your vampires, bidding blood points or something like that in your blood pool, um, or out of your blood pool, to vamp a vampire into play, to swing with it. It's complicated. I kind of understand it, but it's really complicated. The way I the way I play Vampire the Masquerade, I mean Vampire Jihad: The Eternal Struggle, is I use a regular deck of playing cards. I set four cards, 
face down in front of me and the opponent. We split the deck of uh, 48 cards. They get half, I get half. And we take cards from our hand. We set them diagonally over one of the four cards. Those are the vampires. The four cards face down are the vampires. You vamp them into play. And then hearts do something, spades do something, diamonds do something, clubs do something. Like one multiplies damage, one adds damage, one subtracts from damage, one divides from damage. And, uh, and your life total is your deck size. You get one card per turn. Games usually end on turn three. Because I'm not smart enough to be able to, not smart enough to be able to make it go until turn ten. Hurts my feelings when people. <clears throat> hurts my feelings too when people say I always change up rules in games. It's not that. It's that I'm trying to. <clears throat> I'm trying to tech out the game, so that way it's playable. From non-playable to playable. So I have this game that I'm designing. This very simple four zones. You have your hand, your graveyard, your field, and your resource zone. <clears throat> Jacks, queens, and kings cycle to your resource. Your clubs revive. They go to your resource. So, it's like playing Astral Slide mixed with Squirrel Prison. Imagine that. Squirrel Prison is one of my favorite decks to play. Except I like my build. Four Birds of Paradise. Four wild mongrels, three arrogant worms, four basking rewallas, four blurred mongoose. Your spells, four opposition, three static orb, four roar of the worms, three quiet, spec uh, three quiet speculations, four deep analysis, four counter spells. Then your lands, you have Four, uh, four, Yamai Coast, nine islands, nine, or uh, eight forests. Nine islands, eight forests. I had it backwards. Nine forests, eight islands. So yeah, Bless, we can definitely make a movie. You can, you can do my makeup. Using your makeup. And we can dress nice at a table. We can play Magic the Gathering. Sealed deck. No cheating. We'll do booster draft. You versus me booster draft. Or if we want to sit all all the sisters at tables, eight people do a table. Pat Kurz passes out the booster packs. You get three booster packs. Booster draft. I'd love to beat all my sisters and take first place. I'm not going to be able to because of developmental disabilities. But I'd like to. So we'll do one pack of 7th edition. 
one pack of Onslaught and one pack of Torment. One pack of Judgment for the prize pool. Or we can go Bith Dawn, Champions of Kamigawa, and Cold Snap. Winner gets a pack of Beta. Jelly Lab. Jelly Lab call card means character card. Call on my Hollywood Flash card. Thank you.